All right, so I've been asked a few times to provide explanation on how to get confidence intervals for your sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive values, and negative predictive values in SPSS. And so if you'll remember, we have uh, truth in the columns and the diagnostic test in the rows. And so we are trying, I'm going to in, input these data and create confidence intervals. So in order to do that, I would go into a blank data set, pull in, pull up new syntax, and paste the syntax that I provided into this document. I'm going to close this because I already have it up. All right, this looks fairly terrifying, but actually all you need to do is to come in here and paste in, instead of these numbers, your numbers. Okay, so right now what this is is positive, positive 26, positive, negative 3, negative, positive 8, negative, negative 23. If we go back to the contingency table, positive, positive 26, positive, negative 3, negative, positive 8, negative, negative 23. So we go back to the syntax and start up here and just highlight everything and click run. And what you get starting up here are parameter estimates. And you can see that these betas correspond to the um, sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value, and I'll show you how. But here's the lower and the upper confidence interval for each one, and I have them labeled in the document. So actually, before I do that, let me go back one more time, and I'm just going to show you in Analyze, Descriptives, Cross Tabs. I'm going to say Actual goes in the columns, Predicted goes in the rows. I'm going to pull up Cells, and I'm going to call it uh, Row and Column Percentage. OK, and so we have 26.3. 823 right and we come down here and we can see sensitivity is 76.5 specificity is 88.5 we can see positive predictive value is 89.7 Negative predictive value is 74.2%. If you come down here, I have those labeled again, just for your convenience. This matches what I just calculated, these, these statistics here. And you can see this is our positive predictive value, 0.897, which corresponds to 89.7. This is our NPV, so 70.742 corresponds to... 74.2 with the upper and lower confidence intervals. This is our sensitivity and this is our specificity and we end up with an odds ratio also. And so that's how you do it. You really just, um, all you have to do is just change your data in the syntax editor, these, these four numbers. The only other thing that you have to know is that you have to have the advanced statistics. So you need to have the general linear model so you need to have this, if you don't have these univariate, uh, I'm sorry, generalized linear models, if you don't have these statistics in your package, your SPSS, this won't work. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks.